In agricultural news from agview.net, cash rental rates for farmland are a popular topic in farm country. As farm incomes climbed earlier this decade, cash rents predictably followed suit. Well, now the farm incomes have dropped going into a sixth straight year. Cash rental rates have declined, but the decline isn't as steep as many in the industry thought it would be because of those lower incomes. For the 2019 crop season, Farmers National Company saw cash rental rates make a minor move lower, but overall, the rate stayed mostly steady compared to the previous year. Farmer interest in renting land remains strong enough in most areas to continue to support those steady cash rent prices. In the Northern Plains State and other areas with lower yields, it was more challenging to establish those cash rents, in spite of continuing pressure on farm incomes and working capital. Farmers National says they had an excellent experience in collecting those rental payments on their clients' managed farms. Land rental rates usually a bit slower to go up as land values and farm incomes rise. Rents tend to be slower to decline as farm incomes drop as they have in recent years. The Association of Equipment Manufacturers report good news for the sale of all tractors in April. They were 12% higher than they were in April of last year. So, so far for the year, the association says they have sold more tractors than they did in 2018. To date, the total number is 73,820, and compared to a total of 68,147 through April of 2018. Those smaller tractors had a especially good month of April. Two-wheel drives under 40 horsepower, 17% higher than last April. Those 40 to 100 horsepower tractor sales down 2% compared to last year. Sale of two-wheel drive tractors over 100 horsepower climbed 7% higher compared to last April, but the four-wheel drive tractor sales up 32%. Two-wheel drive tractors under 40 horsepower had some of the best year-to-date sales numbers compared to the last year, combining 13% uh, uh, from the last year's number. A four-wheel drive tractor is also up 27% year-to-date compared to 2018. Well, that's Ag News. More coming up.